After my first career loss against Manny Pacquiao, I got a lot of love. I got a lot of respect. Many people said, hey, man, champ, I thought you won the fight. It would have been nice if you were a judge. At the end of the day, lots of compliments. Being glorified. Still, I'm depressed. Not just because I lost. Not just because a title was taken away from me. World champion. Now I'm an ex-world champion. That's not what made me depressed. That's not what made me sad. A lot of people don't know the blood, the sweat, the tears that we put into the sport, the sacrifices that are made. I started boxing at the age of seven. I had my first amateur fight at the age of nine. I turned pro at 19 years old. This journey that I've been able to share with you guys throughout the years, for those who have followed my journey through all the major networks and my world titles. Everything for me felt like it led up to the Pacquiao fight, to where I'm fighting a veteran. That's great, legendary, going down in history, Hall of Fame. But I, Keith Thurman, has what it takes to overcome the obstacle. And I fell short. And I, and I fell marginally short, which is actually more frustrating than being beat up or knocked out. To lose with a margin, one point loss, one more shot at the free throw line. I didn't just feel like I let myself down, I felt like I let Ben Getty down. And for those who don't know who Ben Getty is, he was the man who trained me from the age of seven to the age of 20 when he passed away. When you see Keith Thurman, you can go back and watch some of my fights you'll see Ben Getty on my trunks because Ben Getty's a man that I'll never forget. He's the man who believed in me before I believed in him. He's the man that went around all St. Pete, Tampa Bay, Fort Myers, everywhere we went. By the time I was 14, 15 years old, he said, you are gonna be champion of the world. You have what it takes. His belief in me allowed me to believe in me at a very young age. He said, you are a million dollar fighter, boy. There was a voice in my head and it said, if this man believes in you this much, I'm gonna show up tomorrow. If he wants 20 push-ups, I'm gonna do 20. If he wants 40, I'm gonna do 40. And that's why Keith Thurman is the fighter that he is today. But the depression set in because I felt like I let this man down. He sacrificed 13 years of his life for me to be the champion that I've become. And that was, a, that was a moment, a pinnacle moment in my career. And to fall that short should have been a moment of glory. It was, it was painful. It was very painful, very depressing. It's the expectation I have for myself, which is why afterwards, mentally, I went deep. If I knew I was gonna lose that night, I might as well have been knocked out. I might as well put it all out on the table. I knew it was a close fight. I thought it was a draw, but I didn't get what I thought. A draw was a mediocre decision. I should have put my foot on the gas all the way down, full throttle, so that at the end of the day, I know I left nothing on the table. But I made a mistake and I've learned from it. We moved past it. We're in a better headspace. COVID gave us a lot of time. That's not fun either but allowed us to recenter ourselves, refocus ourselves. 2020, 2021, all that's done. We're in 2022. We're tired of all this negative energy, all this COVID energy. We gotta move into a better future, people. And that's what I'm looking forward to.